What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So earlier today we installed the newest addition to the 2020 Platinum. Brand new tow mirrors from Boost Auto Parts. These things are legit, loaded with features. Um, so what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna show you everything you get out of the box. Um, we'll do the install, I'll walk you through the install step by step, and then we'll do a review on them so I can go over all the features with you guys. But they are loaded guys, they have blind spot monitoring, they're heated, um, they're power fold and no new switches for that. It works off my factory switch on the 2020 Platinum here, just like my, my factory, to uh, I'm sorry, my factory mirrors did. They also have um, a turn signal on the glass. They have these LED bars right here. I did get them with the smoked, um, uh, the smoked lens here and they're also sequential switchbacks which I absolutely love that feature I will show you guys all these things where do you see the light output from those spotlights that are on the back uh, back side over here I'll go over all that stuff with you guys and uh, where do you see them I, I can't say enough good things about them after getting a chance to use them for a while today and now tonight in the dark so let's get into it and uh, I'll show you guys what these are all about so what comes in the box? You get two wiring harnesses, one for the driver side, one for the passenger side. This may vary depending on the options that you go with. We kind of went with top of the line, I guess, if you want to call it that. We have all of the options available. They're power fold. I have blind spot monitoring. I have the heated option. We have the turn signals. Um, we have the high output spotlights right in here. So we kind of went with every option they offer. Your wiring may vary just slightly depending on the options that you choose. So you get the wiring harnesses, one for each side. They give you um, a fuse tap. That's gonna be for the daytime running lights. And then they also give you another fuse. It's a three amp with a T-tap. That's gonna be for these um, high output. They call them, you're, you're gonna tap them into your reverse lights. Um, they call them spotlights, I believe, on the website. Now, that's where you're supposed to tap these in. I'm gonna mention this because I, I'm gonna show you guys how they are supposed to be wired. Um, and when I say supposed to be, there really is no right or wrong, but I'm gonna show you guys how they're called for to be wired with the instructions. I'm actually gonna run mine a little bit differently though. So I will show you guys that. I just wanna have a little bit more of an option as far as when my lights are gonna turn on. They also send you a cup koozie. I'm not even sure where I set that. It's around here somewhere, but it's a cup koozie with Boost Auto. And then of course we have the big boys here. These things are awesome. Um, I'll give you a little bit better of a look up in here. You can see the um, that's the blind spot monitoring turn signals over here they're heated of course um so they're just these things are a beast <laughs> they, they really are they're super heavy duty um and i'll flip it around we went with the paint to match option so as you can see my top cap and my bottom cap are painted mgm to match now boost auto does not do this so you have three options when you order you can get them in chrome black or paint to match if you choose the paint to match they come it's like a it's like a white plastic material I painted them myself. I'm not going to go over the process of painting them. That's not what this video is for, but I will put the process down below this video, all the steps that I followed um, to, to do it myself and save a little money. I mean, as you can see, you know, it came out awesome. High gloss. It looks phenomenal. So, and it didn't cost me all that much to do. All right. So you can choose that paint to match if you want it to match your truck. All right, they also extend, which I'll, I'll go over this a little bit more once we get them on the truck. We're going to do a, a review at the end of the video. I'll show you them on the truck, how they work, and all of the features as well. So super heavy duty. I can't wait to get these things on the truck. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're only going to show one side of the install on video just because it's going to be the exact same process for both sides of the truck. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the driver side, how to get it done. Super easy to do, honestly. This is not going to take long at all. And then we'll go over the wiring. And at, again, at the end of the video, we'll do a little review. First thing we need to do, pop off the door panel. All right, in order to do that, we're gonna have to remove this upper triangle section up here. Just grab it, and you can just pop it off with your hands. It's only held on there by clips. If you have a tweeter in the door, in, or I'm sorry, in this piece, just come back here in the back and remove the wiring harness. It's just a simple clip. Next up, we wanna move, remove. There's a little panel in here behind the door handle. Just take a plastic pry tool, and you can get in on the side by the lock. You can get your plastic pry tool in behind it and just pop it off. Next, you wanna remove, there's a little in here in your door handle. I have an aftermarket uh, piece with a blue trim. Usually you would have a carpeted piece in there. It's not held on by anything really, you just take it right out. After you have that done, there's two Phillips head screws we have to remove. There's one down in here and one right here that you can, they're both right out in the open, you can't miss them. Go ahead and remove those two Phillips head screws. 
Next, we have to remove the panel for the master switch controls. Again, plastic pry tool. Just get up underneath the edge right in here and pop it up. There's another wiring harness on the back of this. So just go ahead and remove that wiring harness like so. Last thing we have to do before we pop the door panel off, there's a little circle rivet over here, like a plastic rivet kind of thing. What you need to do is take something small and there's a, there's a circle in the center of it. Just press the circle and you'll hear a little pop. That actually frees it up and then you can just either take a plastic pry tool or I'm using a very small Phillip, or I'm sorry, flathead screwdriver and you can just pop it out of there like that. It looks like this. So when you're looking at it in the truck, you want to push on that middle circle there. That'll push in, pop it loose, and then you're able to pop it off the truck. Now that we have all that done, we can now pull the rest of the door panel off. It's only held on by clips. I usually like to start down here at the bottom. Just get your fingers up in the edge here and just give it a good pop and the door will come off the truck. Okay, now it's held on by a lip up here and I'm going to reposition the camera. Once we take it off the lip, there is a couple of things that we have to disconnect on the back. So let me get the camera repositioned so I can give you a look at, at what I'm doing back there. Once you have the door freed up like that, you're going to lift it up and over because it's held on by this lip comes over the door. Okay, now on this 2020 Platinum, I have a control on the inside of the door here where it's for my seat memories. I do have to reach back in here. There's a wiring harness that I'm gonna have to unplug back here. The other thing, you guys may or may not have that depending on the trim of your truck. What everybody is gonna have to do, these cables right here, this is for your door handle and the door lock. All you do is pop them out like that and then you can see there's a ball in here and a spot where you have to line it up you just line up the cable and that allows you to pop that ball out of there okay now that's the top one the white goes on the top do the same thing for the green okay and that'll that'll free the door up for most of you i'm gonna have to come over here and get this wiring harness out just like that okay and now as you can see the door panel's free we can set this aside and get to work Next, we just have to reach in here and unplug the factory mirror. It's just held in there with the clip. Not a whole lot of room to work right there, but if there's a little pin on the bottom. If you just push that pin down and pull out, the wiring harness will come free like that. After we have that done, we're gonna take off the speaker. Same thing, there's a wiring harness in your speaker. I'm actually gonna use a set of hemostats here, because again, there's not much room to work. So it's just easier to push this pin in and pull up like that. So now we can remove the speaker, which is only held on by four 10 millimeter bolts. And then the speaker will just pop out of the truck like that. Okay, and just set this aside. We're now ready to remove the factory mirror off the truck. It's only held on by three 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna do the, the bottom two first. And actually you're gonna be loosening a nut. It's not, the bolt is on the mirror side. So you're gonna be taking the three nuts off. Now that we have the bottom two removed, I'm gonna reach in and this is why you're gonna want your windows down while you're doing this, unless you have a helper. I'm doing this by myself. So I'm just gonna reach out here, support the mirror with my left hand. And we're gonna remove this third nut up here. So now that we have those three nuts removed, you can see the mirror is loose, but it's still on there. As you can see, I'm not holding it by any with anything. Um, if you have another set of hands, another person to help you, it would come in handy to have them out there. I'm doing this by myself. So um, there is a pin right in here. It's just a plastic pin. That's actually, that's, what's, that's the only thing left holding the mirror onto the truck. So what you need to do is just give it a good tug straight out. Like so. And the mirror will come off for you. After you take the mirror off the truck, this plastic, or not plastic, this rubbery piece may stay on there. It might come off with the mirror. This is the factory piece. You're going to set this aside. Your new towing mirrors come with another piece that we're going to be installing. So we're going to set that aside. And this is that plastic pin that I was mentioning. That's the last thing that was holding that mirror on. You're also gonna take this off. We don't need it with the new mirrors. Now that's in there pretty good. I usually just take a pair of needle nose and just kinda 
you have to really kind of twist it and, and pop it out of there. So that's what it looks like. Just a little black plastic piece, little pin that was holding that mirror in there. Can be a little tough to get out, but just use your pliers, take your time, and you can pry it out of there. All right, so we're now ready to put the new tow mirror on. This is the new gasket that's gonna replace that. Um, the rubber piece that we took off that was underneath the, the factory mirror, the Boost Auto towing mirrors come with this piece, um, one on each side, obviously. So just make sure that's in place. It, it lines up really well. So all we're gonna do now is carefully take the tow mirror outside of the window. Make sure you have your three 10 millimeter nuts um, close by and easily accessible. So we're just gonna feed the new wiring harness in through where it comes so we don't pinch anything and then I'm just gonna peek my head out here make sure I'm having I have my holes lining up with the mounting locations and as we slide it through just make sure nothing's getting pinched my wires are right here no harm done um, and then again make sure these 10 millimeter I'm sorry yeah these 10 millimeter nuts are close by you're gonna want to start the top one first so I'm gonna grab this. I'm not gonna tighten it down much, just enough to hold it there. Now the mirror is secure on there. I can grab my other two 10 millimeters and get them started. Again, I'm not gonna tighten them down with the drill. I'm gonna switch over to a hand ratchet for that. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna come around the outside, make sure everything looks good out there before we give it the final tighten down. Everything looks good out there. So now I'm just gonna take my hand ratchet. I never like to tighten anything down, especially if you're only dealing with plastic parts. Um, I never wanna tighten anything down with that drill. So I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter hand socket and tighten these three mounting points down. You don't wanna go crazy on these. You wanna make them snug, obviously, but you don't wanna really kind of torque down on them. You'll end up stripping something. So we're, we're pretty hand tight there and I'll go just another little bit there all right so the mirror is now secured on the truck we're just gonna go ahead and connect our factory wire harness to the bigger of the two so you have two clamps or I'm sorry two connectors coming off of the, the new tow mirror smaller one and the bigger one obviously the bigger one is gonna go to the factory wiring harness you'll hear and feel it click into place then we're gonna take one of the harnesses that Boost Auto supplies with the blue and white wires. Again, you may or may not have this depending on what, you, what options you went with. The white wire is for the spotlights on the tow mirrors. The blue wire is for the running lights. So we're just gonna place it in the obvious, connect it right here. Again, you'll hear and feel it click into place. Make sure it's secure. Now that we have the blue and white wires connected up top, we have to follow them down. Now you can you can zip tie your electrical tape, you know, following the path of the other wires here on the door. I'm not sure I'm even gonna do that to be honest. I don't think it's needed, but you can do it if it makes you feel better. <laughs> There's a grommet right here, where like right above where the speaker was. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna feed the blue and white wires in order to do that through that grommet. In order to do that, I secured them to the tip of my wire fish. If you don't have a wire fish, you can use a straightened out coat hanger or anything like that, but you're just gonna pop them down through this grommet and you'll see them come out on the other side down in here. So I'm just gonna grab it. You can see I'm pulling it through that grommet here and I'm just gonna pull all the slack through that spot. Okay, so now we have to get the wiring into the truck. You can see this is the grommet we came down through. I have all the slack down here. In order to get into the truck, this grommet right back in here, there's actually, if you look in here, there's a boot. So all we have to do is get our hands in here and you can loosen both sides of that boot. Pop it out of there and see if I can get you a look. And then we're just gonna have to use the wire fish or a coat hanger or whatever you have and run the wiring. There you go, you can see I got the one side loose here. So I got the inside loose. So you can see right up in there. Okay, so we're just gonna follow these wires into the truck. They're gonna go through this boot and then they're gonna pop out. I'm gonna have to remove this panel, but there's a little tunnel that runs to the inside of the truck. So we're just gonna remove the floor mat. Then this 
piece right here. Just grab it, it pops up. It's only held in by clips. Set that aside. And then if you reach up on the inside, there's a little plastic nut that um, holds this piece in place. So we just reach up there and unscrew it. And it looks like this, just a little black plastic nut that screws on there. And then this piece will just pop right off. And now we have access. When we run the wiring through that boot, it's gonna pop out. There's a little tunnel in here. I'm gonna to try to give you as good of a look as I can here. There's kind of limited space to get the camera positioned, but all I did was I taped the blue and white to the end of my wire fish again. So we're gonna come through here, get it started in this boot. And this just takes a little bit of patience, just kind of wiggle it up through there. And then once you get the wires to the top of the boot, this part right in here, this part is actually gonna be inside the truck. So what you can do, and I'm going to try to get my hand and my arm out of the way here for you. I'm going to take my wire fish and just kind of poke right through there. So let me give you a look at what I did. Again, we're running up through that boot. And what you can do when you get up here to this top side, this is the only part that's outside of the truck. This part back in here, that's inside the truck. So hopefully you can see what I did was I just poked through this back part of the boot with um, the wire fish. And as you can see back there, the white and blue wires came through that hole with it. Once we put this grommet or this end of the boot back on the truck, that part is actually inside. So that's what you can go ahead and do, just poke right through this back side of the boot like that. And then we'll run it down through this tunnel. I'll give you a quick look at that tunnel I was mentioning. So we have the boot back in place. And if you feed, once you pop through that boot, just continue on through the hole that's right there in the truck and it's gonna come out and I'll show you, we'll get up underneath here and I'll give you a look at that tunnel real quick. I don't know if you can see it, but see where those blue and white wires are coming out of? See if I can get you a better look. There's like this plastic square back in there. That's like a little tunnel that goes outside. All right, so that's where the wires are gonna come out of and fed into the truck. So as I mentioned, I'm going to do my wiring a little bit different, but I'll show you guys how Boost Auto Instructions tell you how to do it. So if you have the blue and white wire with the options that you chose, the white wire is going to have to go over to the passenger side of the vehicle. In order to do that, you can see right up in here where all of my other wiring is for my LEDs inside the truck, there's a gap up here behind, um, right now we're underneath the steering wheel. So there's a gap back here behind the radio, behind the middle console, where you can run the wiring straight over to the passenger side. All right, so that's all you'd have to do. Use your wire fish or straightened out coat hanger, whatever you have, and just feed it back through there. There's a big gap back there. You can take that white wire over to the passenger side. Now, in order to do it the way Boost Auto instructions say, you would have to then take the blue wire from the passenger side and bring that over to the driver's side, um, you know, same way. So the white wire, you basically you would want the two white wires ending up on the passenger side, the two blue wires ending up over here on the driver's side. All right guys, so we're on the passenger side of the vehicle right now. If you want those spotlights on your tow mirrors to come on when you go into reverse, this is how Boost Auto has it in the instructions. What you would do is you're gonna take, what you're looking at here, again, we're on the passenger side. My passenger side tow mirror, I didn't show that on camera. It's the same exact process. So we have these two wires, the blue and white, coming down from the passenger side tow mirror. So here's the white wire from it. Let's pretend we have that other white wire coming over from the driver's side. You're gonna to wanna to take those two white wires, trim off a little on the end, and you're gonna use the supplied fuse. You would just put those two white wires into this end of the butt connector and crimp them down put a little heat on it, it's gonna shrink down. It's got the three amp fuse in it. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this connection that's supplied by Boost Auto. The wiring location that you're gonna to wanna to connect into in order to, to have those spotlights come on when you go into reverse, we're looking at all this wiring on the passenger side of the vehicle. This is this yellow piece is for the airbag. Just be careful with that one. You don't wanna disconnect the wiring harness on that. But if we slide that, that's usually sitting in the truck like this. I, I popped it out of the way so I can get you a better look. And you, you're probably gonna wanna pop that out of there just to give yourself more room to work. But if you're looking down in here, you can see all these wiring harnesses. The wire that you're gonna wanna look for is right here, that solid blue wire 
okay and this is for the 2014 and up Toyota Tundra so that solid blue wire right there is the wire that you'd want to tap into with your two white tow mirror wires in order to have those spotlights come on in reverse and again you would just do that by using the supplied pieces from boost auto you would just crimp this onto that blue wire put the two white wires into the butt connector and then take that piece and plug it into this red piece once you have it on the blue wire all right hopefully that makes sense if you guys have any questions leave them down below um, again i'm just not doing it that way so i can't actually show you how but it's very very simple you would just remove this whole wiring harness it's just a you push that pin in it'll slide out of there and that blue wire right there is the one that you'd want to tap into it's solid blue and it's a little bit thicker than all of the other wires in that harness and actually it's the only solid blue wire in this harness right here okay so you really can't miss it now your two blue wires as you can see we have the one from the driver's side here and we did run the one from the passenger side over to the driver's side so all you're going to do with these two blue wires Make sure you give yourself enough slack to work with. And we're just gonna trim it. Trim both of them. Just like that. We're gonna strip back just a little bit of the wire. So now we're gonna take the two blue wires that we have a little bit stripped back on. And we're just gonna twist them together. Again, these blue wires are for the running lights. So now that we have these twisted together, I always like to make sure I use some heat shrink tubing with my wiring connections, whether it's on the boat, truck, I always use this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the fuse tap. Now, this is important for the Tundra. If you look at these two fuse taps, this is the fuse tap in my right hand here that comes from Boost Auto. On the Tundra, that is not the correct size fuse. The Tundra uses these small mini fuses, so you will have to purchase these separately. I get mine off Amazon. You can get them at any auto part, any auto part store. So again, this is the one that comes from Boost Auto, not correct. This is the one that you have to purchase separately. Most vehicles will use this size. That's why they send this, but on the Tundra, they um, use this different size fuse. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we'll set the one from Boost Auto aside. When you look at the fuse tap here, and this is important, they want you to tap this into your tail light fuse. So what you're gonna do, you have a, a fuse box up underneath your, your console here. You can't miss it when you get your head up underneath there. This is the cover or the panel from that fuse panel. All you're gonna do is find the spot that says tail. It's right here, it's a 10 amp. So find that fuse up underneath there. Again, it, it, it shows you right here on the diagram where it's at. You're going to pull that fuse out of the taillight spot, take your fuse tap, and the, the, the fuse that you pull out of the truck is going to go on the left slot when you're looking at the fuse tap. The new, um, the new fuse is a 5 amp fuse for um, the running lights. That goes on the right side, as you can already see it's there. Okay, so you would just go ahead and pull the taillight fuse out of your truck, put it in the left spot. The new 5 amp fuse goes on the right for um, the running lights from the tow mirrors. So then all we're going to do is take the two wires that are twisted together over here, the two blue ones, put it in the other side of the fuse tap and crimp it down. Give it a nice little tug, make sure it's secure. We'll get some heat on that. It'll shrink it down nice. Put our heat shrink over it and we're ready to go. Okay, so now that we have the blue wires squared away, and as I mentioned, the instructions say to tap it into the taillight fuse. What that's gonna do is anytime you turn your parking lights on or your headlights, your daytime, or your, I'm sorry, your running lights will come on on the tow mirrors. Now, what I did, I actually tapped it down into the very bottom on the right. You see a five amp fuse down here. What that does is I want my running lights on anytime the truck is on. So just like my daytime running lights on my headlights, now anytime I turn the truck on, the um, the running lights on the tow mirrors are gonna come on as well. So again, that's just a personal preference. You can put them in the tail light fuse, tap it into the tail light fuse like I showed you. Um, that's how the instructions call for it. There's a lot of options. You don't really necessarily have to do it that way. All right, but I just wanted mine on anytime the truck is on. 
Now, let me, show so let me show you real quick what we decided to do with these white wires from the tow mirrors. Again, they are supposed to be tied in with your reverse lights, but you don't have to do that. What I did, I took the two white wires, so we brought the white from the passenger side over, tied them in together, and I took the three amp fuse out of this piece that Boost Auto sends you. There was that three amp fuse in there I showed you earlier in the video. I took it out and I put it in my own inline fuse, and then I connected it to a switch that I have right up here. I have a switch up here that turns on, I have LEDs, um, LED strips in the bed of the truck. So I tied it into that switch. So whenever I turn that switch on, it's gonna control my spotlights on my mirrors as well. So guys, there's a number of ways you can do it with these white wires. You can put them on their own independent switch. You can tie them into something like that if you already have something existing that you'd wanna hook them into. There's a number of different ways you can do those white wires. You don't have to run it over and hook it into that blue wire on the passenger side that I showed you earlier. You don't have to do it that way. All right, so I just decided I wanted them on a switch, tied them in with my bed lights. So anytime I turn my bed lights on, those spotlights will come on as well. All right, guys, so the install is basically complete. Let's just put everything back together and we'll test out the mirror. So we're going to start by putting the kick panel back on. Slide the kick panel back on. Take the speaker, put it back in its spot, make sure to connect the wiring harness, and replace the four 10 millimeter bolts. Now we can take the door and put that back on. Just make sure before you slide the top lip up over the, the door frame, um, you're going to want to reconnect these two, these two spots. Um, just reverse your steps how you disconnected them. White goes on top, green goes on the bottom one. And then I'm going to have to reconnect that wiring harness. If you have a platinum or a 1794, I believe has this option as well. The, um, the seat memory positions, make sure you plug that wiring harness back in. And then you take the door and just watch the new wiring harnesses over here. So you don't pinch anything. And you're just want, you're going to want to slide that top lip up and over the frame of the door. And it'll fall into place just like that. I'm just going to take one more look at the wiring harnesses over here just to make sure nothing's pinched. So now we're just going to go around the door. Make sure you can get at your, your uh, master switch panel wiring harness, which is right here. So you're just going to go around and pop the door back on. Take that little black piece. And what you're going to want to do is pop it up like that. Put it in and then you'll push that middle circle in after it's in the truck and you'll you'll hear and feel a little click so it's in and then i don't know if it came out on camera but you can hear and feel a little click once you push that middle portion back in then we'll take the two screws that we took out of the door the one that was down here is the bigger the fatter of the two and then the skinnier one goes right in there we'll take our master switch panel and plug the wiring harness back in first and then we'll pop it back down in its spot. And then we will take our upper triangle trim piece. If you have the speaker in the in this piece, don't forget to connect, don't forget to connect the wiring harness. And then that'll just snap right back in. Then just take this little panel that goes behind your door handle, put that back into place. It's only held on by those clips. And we are done, guys. Let's turn this truck on, check everything out, make sure it's all working. All right, guys, there they are. These things are awesome. I'm gonna turn the truck on and give you a look at the features real quick, but just, um, you can see we went with the smoke lens as well. We went with the sequential switchbacks, which you're gonna see. And then one other thing that I didn't mention, I don't believe I mentioned, is these are extendable. They're, they're power fold on the truck with the stock button, but they're manual extend as well. So when you're towing, you can extend them out. So let me turn the truck on real quick and I'll give you a look at the lights. So I recruited the help of my son to give you a look. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have my the running lights on the trucks, as you can see right there on the tow mirrors I should say I have those tied in so anytime the truck is on they're gonna be on as well so let me give you a look at the turn signals we'll come over here so again we went with the sequential switchbacks so you can see they turn yellow which is awesome when you're using the, the turn signal 
We'll give you a look at the driver's side, same thing. Love that sequential switchback look. All right, and then we'll give you a quick look at the bed lights. So you can see the bed lights right there. Those things are super bright. And again, we did go with the option for the high output um, spotlights or floodlights, whatever you want to call them. So we did go, you can get them at a lower output as well, but we went with the upgraded version. Those are super bright and I have those on that switch. So anytime my bed lights come on, when I push that switch, those spotlights will come on as well. I just like the fact that you can control it with its own, in the, uh, it, it, with its own switch and it, they don't come on every time you go into reverse. All right, so there they are. So I had to add this little part into the video for you guys to show you how bright <laughs> these spotlights are on these mirrors. It's pitch black, it's later on, you know, the same day that we installed the mirrors, it's about 10 o'clock at night, and look how bright these spotlights are. I mean, that is crazy. And as you can see, I'll show you, I don't have any other lights on back here. I don't have my cargo lights on up there. There's obviously no tail lights or reverse lights on here. Like that is just from those spotlights they are crazy bright i gotta be honest i'm actually glad i did not wire them into my reverse lights because i wouldn't want those coming on every time i go into reverse i like having it on the switch um you know the way we did it the way i showed you so i can just press that button and i'll show you the bed lights that i was talking about i know this has nothing to do with these mirrors but you can see i have led strips in the bed so when i hit the button to turn those on these spotlights now come on as well and uh i can tell you they are definitely going to come in handy when i'm doing some night fishing or low light fishing launching in the dark that's crazy all right guys so as you can see the install on these mirrors really isn't that bad at all um these things are a huge upgrade over stock they're super heavy duty lots of options you can get on them i didn't show you the power fold but basically you just push the button in the inside of the truck and they fold in um just like the the mirrors on the platinum would do um, so that power fold option is pretty sweet as well, especially because they stick out so much farther now. Um, we can fold them in if we need to, you know, if we're going through a tight space or whatever the case may be. So if you guys have any questions on any of the wiring, um, again, those white wires and even the blue wires, you can do those, di do those differently. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know. I'll get them answered for you. And uh, hopefully this helped you guys out, gave you a nice little review of the mirrors. Highly recommend them. They are a huge upgrade over stock with lots of, lots of good features on them. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.